sticker shock. That's what many EasyPass users have when they open up their latest bill. And if you don't pay the balance due, you face fines. A bill before the state Senate would create an EasyPass installment plan. These days, they've read my M tag, so it only charged me $1.40. But on these days, it took a picture of my plate, and it's charging me the $4. Brenda Wisher can't believe the charges on her EasyPass bill. She uses the Bay Bridge in her daily commute from the Eastern Shore to Annapolis for work. And the fact that it's charged me twice on the same day within three hours, and I only went across there the one time. Wisher had to settle what she considers discrepancies in person. But she ended up paying the full balance on two statements that added up to $162. I paid it because I don't want any more fees. I don't, I don't have any choice. State officials deferred billing for months to give people a break during the pandemic. Now those bills are due. And in some cases, they're enormous. Those who don't pay face fines or fees. MDTA doesn't have a provision where they can have a partial payment system. Baltimore City Senator Corey McRae introduced legislation that would require MDTA to offer installment plans to pay EasyPass bills. The bill would basically put a correction course to say that EasyPass, MDTA, sets up a partial payment system. It waives all late fees from that period where they were not charging folks. It also says that you have alternative methods. So we know, David, that there are cash at, Venmo, and things of that nature. We need to stop moving in that direction. The bill also allows the state to charge a fee to set up a payment plan. Wisher likes the idea. It was difficult for me to come up with that right after Christmas, you know, 78 and 84 hours. You know. Senator McCray believes the bill will have a lot of support in the state Senate, but for now, MDTA is taking a neutral position. Reporting from the Bay Bridge, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.